Hello crafters, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Um, this is Rebecca with Rebecca's Gift Box and we are here to start on the Marguerite Miller um, Collage Weekly Planner Assignments um, Challenge. I'll get the wording right. But then I, I just want to start off and, and just do cover my um, do the covering of my book that I'm going to be using. Um, the book that I'm going to be using for this weekly challenge is going to be um, a visual journal mixed media um, book. It is a 9 by 12. It has 68 pages um, on it. 34 sheets for 68 pages. It's acid free. And I want it to be mixed media. I would have been happier with the water color paper, but mixed media is going to allow me to do basically everything, like from water painting to sketching to um, drawing, gluing, and a mixture of everything. So I wanted to be able to have that that flexibility in doing this weekly the, those, these weekly tra um, challenges assignments. Okay, so that's why I chose this Strathmore book. Um, journal. So we're going to decorate this front page, the, well, the cover, and, I, and I'm going to be using the the page, one of the, the 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 page that came with, with the assignments from Marguerite Miller. And I had already started decorating it, and I said, well, let me just go ahead and do a video on it. I know I'm behind, but that's okay. I'm still I still can catch up. I have time to catch up, and we're just going to start with um, pasting pasting papers down okay so I have my bundle here of what I want to use and I, I have a vision of how I want it but you know visions usually don't work out as you plan them to so let's just go ahead and start pasting things down I know I want this to be on the on the front here so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down I couldn't find my my glue that I that I want to use, I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see, that I want to use and so I'm going to have to go with Mod Podge and I'm not sure that's going to work or that's going to stay but we're going to try and see how it does. I wanted to use the um, either the Liquitex matte, dry, uh, matte glue I wanted to, either one of those would have been better than the Mod Podge but I've used Mod Podge. I use Mod Podge on napkins, but not for my napkins when I'm gluing napkins down. I never used it for like this because it's, it's kind of a lot. So let's go ahead and just just glue this down, okay? Should have got a bigger brush. I'm just going to slab this on real quick. Making sure I get my corners. So I know they're going down real good. I kind of got to work kind of quick with Maj Podge because once it starts, it's like the tacky, like the glitter glue, you know. Sometimes you can you have a couple more minutes, but when you think you do, but no. All right, so that should do. Let's go ahead and just get this down here. Make sure I get it in the place to where I want it. Okay. 
Sorry about the noise. My son is making, is playing a game. And we all know my story. I'm in the living room now, so. I just want this, this glue to work. Okay, so. That's that. So my next section is going to, I want to put this down, like so. And I still haven't gotten my glitter glue to work, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I don't have time to worry about the glitter glue. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac I know I want this down. Or do I want this down first? I know I want that there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using. This paper here. off because I could use some of this but not a whole bunch I'm not sure if I really want to use it where's my cover so this is my cover this is what I want to go on the front page like so Maybe I should go ahead and do this real quick I know I want this on here because I'm gonna lay like a little, little, little pocket right here so I know I want that there. Um, I know I want some flowers on here. I think this is supposed to be my corner. I believe this is going here. This is going at the top there. I believe this is going over here at this corner here. This is going over here, like so. There is another flower right there. Um, I don't know why I have all of these, because I know I'm not using them. At least I don't think I'm using them. Um, am I still using this? I'm not sure. I'm not using that. I don't think I'm using any of this. I think I'm using these, these pieces here, but not those. So let's put those over here out of the way. That's right there. I wasted that whole time. Let me think. Let me think, because I can't really remember how I wanted it now, because it's been a couple of days. I don't know if I'm going to use that. I think I was going to use this at the top. Let me move these flowers out of the way. Move this to the side. I think I was going to use that like that. That like that. Just like this. 
No. That doesn't go there. I know I wanted that to go there. So the thing is, is that I didn't take a picture of, did I take a picture of what I, how I wanted it? I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Here we go. I think I have it set up. This is how it's supposed to be. Um, I, don't, I thought I took a picture of it before, and so I know how I wanted it to be placed, placed down on here. So I got it here. I took a picture of it, so I know exactly what I how I wanted it. So let's go ahead and move everything to the side and just start gluing things down because uh it was kind of a little aggravating because I thought because I thought I had glued I mean took a picture of everything and I didn't so let's just go ahead and get this down okay I'm not going to um whatchamacallit um ink the edges because I want the the edgings it's not really important for the edgings, but I do want to know, see here what's underneath what and how it's going here. So I know I need those two things underneath here. So this is going to go here, this is going to go here, and this is going to go here. I do need to cut this edge here though. This is going to go here. Did I just cut the wrong edging? Yes, I did. I wish I could afford that tearing ruler, as it would be so much easier for me. But I have to do with what I got until I get me some money. <laughs> And we all know how that is. All right, so these two are going to go underneath that. So I need to glue, glue these two things down. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac because my glitter glue from my first video today is to stop working on me. And I don't, I didn't, I was on a roll making my...
All right, so my Velcro is going to go right here. So I'm not going to place that down because I want to go over the whole book here once I find my glue and cover that up. And that's my book. That's my cover. What do you think, guys? Hmm? After all that that I went through, what do you think? I think it looks good. This is exactly what I wanted. Well, not exactly, but it's close to it. Let's move all this other stuff out of the way so we can see what we have. This was the other side of that page that when you purchase the the or the assignments the well the inside of the book I didn't order the whole book I just ordered I just got the um, the pages and um, this was one side of the page but so this is the um, the first week which I will be doing next um, tomorrow so to start that off but here is the cover. And we can start on I'll be starting on my next video for the first for the first um, for the first assignment, which is magical. All right. Until then, I'll see you next time on the next video. Have a blessed day. Thank you crafters.